Hey guys, Carrie Lane here with another episode of Chat with Carrie. I'm super excited to welcome Bollywood actor and model Ali Fazal, who stars in the new action thriller Kandahar. Kandahar is about an undercover CIA agent, played by Gerard Butler, who gets stuck in hostile territory in Afghanistan after his mission gets exposed, and he has to find his way to the extraction point. It's pretty interesting that it takes Hollywood to turn a Bollywood star into a Pakistani James Bond. Um, <laughs> Nothing. No, well, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Well, apart from that, what drew you to the role? Uh, you know, I think uh, my conversations with Rick uh, truly have been have been magnificent from the word go. I never ended up reading for the part. We 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 read on the phone uh, on a Skype call. I read I read with Rick for a bit, and then we spent almost an hour or hour and a half or so awfully long phone call I remember and we just spent talking and uh and it was wonderful because I I I think he has a very interesting way of working with his actors he he truly collaborates uh, and I remember we when I got on board which was 15 minutes after the call ended which is quite surprising but uh, after that every conversation we had we came up with something new and and, and almost like uh, uh you know, path plan for Cahill, who's who's this this mercenary, uh, loner, very, I mean, you know, for lack of any reference, uh, Mad Max the meets Terminator, Terminator in the middle of a desert, uh, as is a double agent himself. So we didn't deep, we didn't do a whole deep dive into this character. I, I I don't know how much of that is in the movie, but it's kind of like half Indian, half Pakistani. So it's it's. That's the little mix, and that probably answers your first question. There, yeah, it you know that's why maybe somebody from Bollywood or I could be anywhere, but um, uh, he he wanted to sort of shape this this character into somebody who can who sees reason, uh, you know, who sees who sees through the bullshit, uh, who sees through all of this, uh, the the madness that's uh, out there for for the entire world to see. Uh, he's so much, he's part of it. Well, everybody out there is a part of it. And they're, it's like business. It's literally business in the middle of uh, a, a war-torn, you know, Afghanistan. And a bunch of different ideologies that are coming together and essentially trading because nobody's really preaching or making lives easy. I think uh, we all know that. So, yeah, what's, what's already going out there. Although this was a Hollywood production, it was shot in Saudi Arabia, and it's one of the yeah. first films shot in Saudi Arabia since uh, the Lawrence Arabia was shot there. So what was that production like compared to, say, Bollywood production? Oh, that, I mean, you know, I wouldn't compare that. I, the thing is, all the movies that I've done in, in Hollywood, like, I mean, the last one was Death in the Nile, which was, again, a very big ticket film. It's, you know, it's Disney and all that. So... So the moment it's a studio film like this or the previous ones, they, 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 they automatically cater to at least 200 countries, right? Or more or less, somewhere in that vicinity. Bollywood's, is, the economy's change, right? Uh, Bollywood's catering to the North Indian belt, not, not, not entire India, uh, which is a big mistake that even everybody makes when they speak of Indian film because Bollywood is just the Hindi-speaking movies. Then there's Malayalam, there's Tamil, there's Kannada, there's, you know, Punjab. I mean, there's all, there's so many different languages we have. We're very proud to have that. In fact, I, I, every single year, I think for the last three years, we've been, I'm an academy member myself. So I take pride when I suddenly have movies of all different languages, uh, you know, different languages in, in India coming there and I'm voting for these movies and I'm thinking, wow, you know, we, we cats out of the bag. Uh, there's so much more to Indian cinema. So, so of course, I mean, you know, the economy is different. Uh, uh, the means spent are different. Uh, I think we're telling some very, very interesting stories uh, in India alone, and some are even reaching the world stage. Uh, we, I mean, entered the Oscar races uh, this past year. Very proud of it. Especially a friend's film, uh, Sean Sen made All That Breeds, which was nominated for a docu feature and I think it was one of the best films I've seen uh, in a long, long time. Um, 
but yeah, being part of something like Kandahar is, yeah, I mean, it's, it, you know, it's, it's gun blazing, high adrenaline, action flake, it's Jerry Butler. Uh, I couldn't ask for more. How did you prepare for your role? Uh, that was, okay, that was different. That was hard. It was uh, a lot of bike training, a lot of dirt bike biking. Uh, 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 I remember I was one of the first ones to land up in Saudi Arabia before all the other actors came in because I had 20 days of just prep uh, on the bike uh, and with obviously the, the guns and everything, uh, the action training, uh, because somehow the guy is not just a mercenary, but he's a cool mercenary and he does it all. He does a thing, uh, you know, and I remember one of the first shots, which is actually an opening shot of me coming in this helicopter in, in this huge, massive seabed, uh, this dried out seabed in Alula. And before it even lands, I'm supposed to open the door, enter the van, and then the van goes and stops somewhere. And I get into the back, the back of the van where my bike is parked and I get out from this really thin railing. And I sort of do this little skin, which was, I think, the hardest thing, uh, you know, we've, we, we, we pulled off. Well, speaking of exciting, and you mentioned the training, how much of the motorcycle action and general action is you? Because, you know, you put on the helmet, who knows? So. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, uh, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a large part of it that's me. There's a large part of it that's uh, played, uh, that's done by my stunt double because they just wouldn't, they just wouldn't allow me. I was, I was just like this excited kid. Uh, in, in in Toys R Us, uh, getting to do this, but I think after a point, the speeds were really high. So I was told, okay, you do not get to do this, get to do this. So so we we I, I did pull off some really interesting stunts. Well, it is great to see such a diverse and global cast. What was it like on set? It was literally that uh, we and and you'd be surprised. I mean, we had at least the the crew was probably the most diverse crew I've ever, ever worked with. I mean, there were people from, I think somebody did a count. There was 22 countries, 22 different countries uh, involved. The, the, the action team was Bulgarian. The camera department was, a large part of it was Spanish. There was English, American, Saudi Arabian crew, uh, you know, UAE. There were, there were Moroccans. There was Italians. There was, it was, it was beautiful. Anything else coming up for you personally? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, we have, uh, there's a hit series that I've done in uh, India called Mirzapur, which is huge uh, back there. It's an Amazon series that I'm leading. That's uh, the third season is going to land the uh, end of the year. There's uh, a film that Taboo and me, uh, I have done. Uh, it's called Khufia. It's a Netflix film directed by Vishal Bardwaj, uh, who's probably one of the best directors in India. So I couldn't have asked for more. That's coming out and, uh, and a film and a very deep film, uh, uh which is called, uh, Afghan dreamers based on a true story about the, uh, the Afghanistan women's robotics team. Well, we wish you luck on all of those projects. Kandahar is in theaters May 26. So if you're looking for an action packed thriller, your Memorial day weekend plays just got more exciting. I'm Carrie Lane with Dia TV and we'll see you next time.